Welcome back to another vlog. It is round two, playoff game day. We play tonight at seven o'clock. We're playing Wiley East at Hebron High School. I'm just getting ready for the day. A long day ahead. It is 11.20 a.m. I'm leaving for the school within like an hour. We have practice, eating, probably at Chili's again, all the things. Um, maybe some film, I heard. I'm not really sure. But yeah, it's round two. So I'm about to do my makeup and get ready. Round two makes me so nervous. I don't know if you've been following, but the past couple years, round two has kind of been, in my opinion, like one of the hardest rounds to get through. Um, Zurich's senior year, we just had a come to Jesus halftime experience. And I still have PTSD film. Not really. I'm just joking. I'm being dramatic. But um, yeah, that was one of like a life changing, program changing half times and yeah we were playing Sachi at forney high school and it was just it was just a mess then the next year when you do dumb stuff like that in the middle of the court you don't want to play i don't need that coach i see i see what i need to see um there was a lot of drama we were playing Rockwall Heath and we almost lost that game and it was super close and it was just like Yeah, it was a mess. So it was so funny. Um, before the playoffs started, Coach PV and I were like, we're like, we're not playing round two at Forney. Like, I don't think we ever want to play there again. So we're playing somewhere else. But I'm still nervous just because you just never know it's playoffs. I guess Wiley East upset Rockwell Heath and it was a game they maybe like weren't supposed to win or something like that. And they won a close game, so... I mean, obviously playing us, like, they have nothing to lose, and it's playoffs. It's pretty much our March Madness, even though it's still February, so it's like they have nothing to lose, so. Um, but we are playing really well right now. Yesterday's practice was a little, so hopefully today we lock in a little bit better. But, um, yeah, super excited. Should be a fun day. I definitely think we're going to win. Like, I will confidently say that. But again, you just never know, so. You know, we got Wiley East. You know, doing levels right now, getting right, getting our minds right. Locking in for the game. Not locking in fully, but you know, locking in for shoot around. Ready? Are we going to get 1,000 square points today? Man, you know, bless with whatever. You know, a dub. <laughs> Don't give me the like that. correct answer. No, I am going to. I'm not going to focus on it too much. You know, I'm going to let it come naturally, you know. But you're gonna hit it tonight. That's the plan. Nerd, just be What do you mean? Be natural. He doesn't know how to talk on camera. Begin to know what's up. Now he wants to listen to me. He has about six games left with me. Now he want to know how to do it. Is it on? Yeah, it's recording. Hey, y'all, uh, 
on, so we at Dungaville practice, you feel me? Yeah, we're getting ready for uh, our big meet against, well, not against, at the Soto, you feel me? We're finna turn up, you feel me? Per usual, though, we always do this. It ain't nothing new. Look at the guys. Look at the guys. Hey, y'all say hey. Y'all say hi. Look at him coming. Look at his form. Look at his technique. Nice and good. Nice and good. Them the guys, you hear me? Yes, sir. What the f***, per usual, per usual, you know how we get for real, uh, you know. Bill, what you wanna say, Bill? Bill, what you gotta say to the camera? What you gotta say to the camera, Bill? I'm D1. Ooh, I hope, I hope so. What you gotta say to the camera? <laughs> Boy, what? Jimmy, what you gotta say to the camera, son? Spiritual or something? Give us, you know, advice to the young. M I H, make it happen. We finna pop it, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm. Oh, they got it. It's the great, the one and only. No, right here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at little Rook. Look at that. Well, you know the vibe. Stop playing with gangsters. Stop playing with gangsters. You know how it get for real. What do I say? Exactly, but he talking about he want to be in the video, but don't know what to say. What do you I'm mean? I'm thinking it's like a skit or something. No. Day, update. Game two. Round two. Round two. I'm gonna come out with the dub. Gonna keep getting better each game, each and every game. We ready, man. We locked in. How do you feel about Bug about to get his 1,000 career point as someone who just got theirs? I'm happy. Welcome for him. Happy for him to uh, join the club. Join me in the 1K, you know. I'm gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? That's so cute. You gonna get a blanket like five? No, it's real soon, bro. What? Tap in. DJ, you're gonna get a blanket? Okay, y'all, I'm outside with Bug. I apologize because in the last vlog, I cut out something that he wanted to show you guys. Exactly, like I'm trying to show y'all. He's locked in. He's taken. Look at his Valentine's Day. <laughs> Did you see you know, when I, I rolled my into, eyes? I backed up did you see when I rolled yes, my I eyes? Did. I was You're like, like, oh, that's okay, cute. That's cute. Yes, I did see that. I did he's, see that. He's off the map, y'all. He is single Shout man. Natalia Jordan. Wish her good luck. Tomorrow, you know, we can put the beats on his GP. Are you going to go to the game? I was going to go, but I'm going to go to my dad's game. It's nothing like it. I didn't get that part. You're going to get a blanket from who? My mama. Love you, mom. That's your $6 of gratitude. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, oh. oh my God. Wait, did you oh, get that online? No, I missed it. Oh my God. <laughs> Tell us I, what happened. Say. Wait, hold on. Okay, it's recording. Ovi said, hey, do you have your $6 for gratitude? I said, what? I, do you mean gratuity? <laughs> We're trying to teach these young men how to leave a tip in the proper terminology. It's called gratitude. Well, well, gratitude. One of our smartest seniors called it gratitude instead of gratuity. Technically, it is gratitude because you're leaving gratuity. I'll go. I'll go, Cooper, man. So nice outside today. Come on, get on camera with this. We're on the bus now. This is how nice I am. This is like the third time I've let Beth and borrow these. B? Oh. What do you say? Thank I need it on camera because you think I'm mean. Thank you, bro. Looking great. Thank you so much. I also bought Bug more bubble tape. Not that he needs it, but let's go give it to him. Ew. Ew. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Excuse me. I, I know, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. Another one? I know. It was just... Weird. I'm just adding up. It was just calling my name and we won and today's a big... Today's a big day, so... I'm, I'm sitting for like a lot. Appreciate y'all too. You know, I always think much of you. I do. Alright. I don't know where we are. Do you know where we are? Okay, we're in Carrollton at Chili's. Um, you already know what it is. I'm gonna get. Um, hold on. Oh, we got the cops with us. Um, we're at Chili's in Carrollton. I'm gonna get quesadillas this time. Oh my god, I'm reading this new book. I finished my other one I was reading and it's so good. It's a cute little novel. Chili's.
Okay. It's 4.30 now. We just ate at Chili's. I'm on the bus by myself, literally. Literally by myself. Um, I'm not feeling that great. I have a... Sorry, the light's really bad in here. Um, there we go. <sighs> I have a really bad headache. Well, it's not really bad, but it, I feel like it's going to be really bad. And, um, I haven't been feeling too, too great mentally lately. Um, just being transparent, it's just like hard sometimes feeling like you have to always just be on when you're not on. And I don't know, like lately I've just been like questioning like what my purpose is like what i'm doing and like those kind of thoughts and feelings always kind of make me a little bit sad and um i don't know like i just hate feeling like i always have to like be positive and have all this energy and things like that when i'm really just feeling doubtful and stressed and sad and want to cry so I came on the bus just to get a few moments to myself before the game, before I have to turn it back on, basically, and get some medicine. So, that's just a little personal update, but I'm still excited it's game day, and I'm sure once we get going, I'll be fine, but... Yes. Right, buddy. Round two. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for round two. Grayson, say hi. Say what up to the people. Yeah. Say what up to the people. Bug, what happened? What happened last time you was in this building? Straight buckets, but well, we lost by 30. So. Okay, your performance. It's because Cam wasn't here. Off the chain. It's because Cam wasn't here. No. 40. No, 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 no. 33 and then 40. Wait, hold on. Jam into the music. He needs a charger too. Oh, you need one too? I mean, you got it. No, okay, he's completely dead. Anybody got you? We just got to the school. Say hi, Becca. Uh, it's really nice. This school, this locker room is nice, but I wouldn't want to share with the volleyball team. Sorry, for the volleyball player. All right, let me show y'all how nice this is. So, Ant is a team DJ. Yes. He's trying to figure out what vibe we're going with for today's game. He said Chief Keith. That was the wrong answer, I'm not gonna lie. Um, are we feeling young boy? Take it to I'm Cam. always Cam feeling game? young Cam boy. Bays? Mm. Team DJ, tough decisions. Well, baby, can never go follow wrong. Ant, follow Ant on Spotify, it'll be linked below. <laughs> yes, you will love my playlist. He has the best music choice, so diverse. Doing his pregame hair routine. For the game, I think the game starts at seven, six, seventeen. The other team already went, so we're just out here having our little walkthrough. 
And I already took pictures, so I'm not gonna do that again, post again. Normally I would if we had the first one, but we don't have time after, so. That's what's going on, getting a little nervous. The gym is really nice though. Okay, so it's 11.30 now. We just got, well, I just got home. Um, and obviously, we lost our game, so that sucks. We lost in double overtime by 10. It was such a good game. Like, it was probably one of the best games I've ever been a part of. Like, I wish I could have experienced it from a fan's perspective because, like, working it, I know I, like, missed a lot of stuff, but, um we did not deserve to win that game we played i don't even know the word like just um the mistakes that we made were things that we've done like all season long and it just like caught up to us and um this time of year when it's just like a one game you know matchup and it's like win or go home anything can happen and um they wanted it more than us so yeah i'm like 99.9% .9 sure that i'm not going back to duncanville i don't want to go back to duncanville so in the event that eight months from now i'm back at duncanville like i'm not sure what happened but um every year i've kind of challenged myself in new ways and trying to like take it to the next level we just hit 28,000 followers on instagram is it 28? Yeah. Um, I wish we would have got to 30. If we still had games, we probably would have. But we literally just got to 28,000, which is, like, insane. And there's nothing left for me to do. Like, I've I've done it. So, um, I'm just ready for something new. I don't know if it's going to another high school or another district or going to college or I don't know what it is. But as far as this season goes... I think our record was 19 and 10, so almost 20 wins. Dang it. Um, I feel like we exceeded a lot of people's expectations, just like not our own. And if I'm being like 100% honest, like 100% honest, I did not think we were going to win state. Like you can look in my journals. Like there was no way. Like I 
just never thought that we were gonna win state. I was just like, we're not. I was like, I told my mom, I was like, I don't know if we can win state, but I definitely think that we're good enough to get to San Antonio. Like, I, you know what I mean? And I definitely thought that we were gonna get to regionals and we weren't gonna lose in the second round. So, um, definitely didn't exceed my expectations once, this, once the season got going. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. And Brit out, Brit out, 28K on top. I wish you would've got the 30. If we would've got to 30K, bro, that would've been so sick. But anyways, just stay tuned and I'll keep y'all updated. And the last thing is I just wanna say that I appreciate all the support and love that you guys have just shown me and the team and yeah, it's been crazy just to see the growth just everywhere we go. People know who we are, they know the kids, they know me, the coaches, what we do. And um, even the hate comments and things like that. Like, for the most part, it's all love. Like, fans will be fans and everything like that. But even when we do get the hate comments, it just goes to show that, like, the brand and people, like, know who we are and go out of their way to, like, find our page. So, um, yeah, I'll probably have more thoughts on this later. But um, I'll holler at y'all later because I'm tired. Brit out. Brit out, bye.